All right, we are going to get fired up with Hollywood. All right. So I think we're looking at we need some, some more alt coordination because I think the team, they had no problems grouping and they had no problems with the line, you know, making sure that they had their tanks up front, they got their healers in the back. They're keeping them somewhat protected. I mean, they didn't win, so they didn't protect them enough, but I think there just needs to be more coordination there with those alts to kind of just push them over the edge because they still had the, their team was together. It wasn't, they, you didn't see trickling. You didn't see, uh, you didn't see those individual picks that just made the team crumble. You just saw them, just a very not powerful offensive. Absolutely. Um, and they didn't answer a lot of those big attacks that we were getting from the other side. So. Yeah, I mean, I think we saw, you know, Earth Team's a good team. They're a strong team. They coordinate well. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot of friends on that team that know each other, that trust each other. The barrier mm-hmm. being, I think, some level of communication. I think you could see the team start to fall off the rails a little bit at the end there, which is never a very good thing. And you can mm-hmm. see them up there. I mean, they're. I am assuming that they're thinking, you know, what's going to be the right play here? You know, what do we need to make things happen? They've got Nightmare, he's been the Roadhog for a while. Kwai Senpai now is going to Diva Route, which you haven't seen. Demi Tiss is the Anna, but we've got three roles right here where, you know, they're trying to figure out what's going to make the most sense. And the nice thing is you can kind of look back there and see, you know, what are they talking about? Yeah. What are they thinking? What's happening? They're waiting until the buzzer here to pick who their yeah. players are going to be, but I like that. Keep it a mystery. All right, Xave going with a great fair play that's really right. carried him to where they needed to be. Shinehart going for Ryan. Really going to want another healer, and that's going to be our shy guy right there. Mm-hmm. So good Lucio, but, you know, Lucio really is going to benefit from being able to get out of the gate quickly. Well, they got a little shift here because now they're they're changing up roles because you saw shy guy doing their DPS. Now he's doing their healing. Ooh, uh, kid with Senpai also uh, was playing... Uh, Healer last round, so we see her do damage this time from a diva. Ideally, more of a tank role. Well, and, of course. Yeah, I think what's but. interesting to me is that really they've only got one hit scan, but I guess with Loth as Zenyatta it really shuts down Xave a lot. But you can see they're kind of taking control of this high ground up here, going top. Yeah, trying to push him now, which is good. The fact that they're already up here is a really good thing for our Earth team because mm-hmm. they control that point. They just need to avoid getting hooked down and just rain death down like they're doing. But again, you got to stay patient. Jumps like that. That shield now has kind of abandoned his team. And now Trinehart's down on his own. That's a dangerous spot to be in. Very and he much. pays for it. So while the team might be together, they're still making some kind of big mistakes there. We're yeah. having some action in the stairwell here. Diva, though, strong player in there. She's going to be able to get her, whoa, get her defense matrix to go here and really make it challenging for them to do anything in that stairwell. Well, I think pushing a, down again. Yeah, I think a big advantage is, I mean, we're looking at uh, basically a, a three-tank build there, which we're starting to see more often, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big plus. It keeps them alive longer, gives them more time to collect. They're not making a lot of ha- happen up here, though. They need to be, you know, punishing these players, making things happen. You can see that hooks down for a long period of time. They've yeah. got all that time to work with. Still down, still down. They should be shredding, raining death down. It's going to be up again. Just this fishing right now, which makes sense. Well, let's see if they can do anything with that fishing. Here we go. This is what's going to happen. We're going to see All this right. Xave just drop some really hard hits if he can just stay up. I anticipate. There it is. All right. We got some big alts isolating the Rhine. Yeah, Great goes right after there. the mercy. Nice play. So Earth making a pretty big move here. But so see, the Fair is doing lots of, I mean, Oof. ideal damage, but they still Ninja. get pushed back. Making Oof. it happen there. Ninja and Rexaw on both of those. Rexaw pulling all, push them off the point. Unfortunately, Earth wasn't able to make anything happen here, and they've got a minute left. You know, I've said this before in other games, but I got to always wonder, you know, losing the game, getting shut out last game. Again, I always think that has such a big impact on players' attitudes. You don't see a lot of aggression here. You see a really cautious Earth team. No one wants to be the one that goes in there, and I think it's to their detriment at this point. Yeah. 
Need somebody maybe a little over cautious. Ooh, that was oh, big with the big old. Run we are gonna see that in. pop. Holy yes. cow! Unbelievably wow. good. That just cracked this wide open. Wow. And the healer's down. So great wow. play there by Kawhi Senpai. Kawhi Senpai, that is uh, that is play of the game material right there. <laughs> Wow. I can only imagine. They easily capture the point, knocking everybody out. Oh, really yeah. good play. I got chills watching that <laughs> all to occur. That was very satisfying. That's so the, the patience of... paid off. They kept on it. Absolutely. That's the sort of coordination that they are going to need if they plan to win this game and beat Team Fire. Mm -hmm. But great heads-up moment there. You saw the opening. Didn't hesitate. Launched the alt in there. They didn't stand a chance. Now, Xave is going to be really strong here with these rooftops. Ninja's really going to have to be on this if he's planning on sniping down that Pharah. Xave flying kind of aggressive. A couple of hooks going off there. Xave is, is uh, you can see they're answering that, that Pharah immediately. Fire is going right after. Absolutely. And we also got Loth in there. You know, like we said, I mean, he's, he was our player of the week this time, and it's clear. He's got some yeah. really good heads up play yeah. there. They're going to no, take no, no, this out. Up, Ooh, up, yeah. Opsy alt. All right, that drew out a lot of alts. That drew a lot more alts than I thought it was going to draw, which is good for yeah. them. But they're going to have some cleanup kills, split the defense. Freeze Jaws is going to go ham on what's left. And we're going to let the Earth team kind of regroup a little bit here. Still doing okay on time. They can get another two good solid pushes out of this. Absolutely. They play their but... cards right. But that time is quickly running out, as we know. Well, you can and see Fire is pushing right up to their spawn there. They're putting the pressure on. They're not waiting at all. See if Zave can get around in some headroom here and go around back. Ooh, trying to snipe his biggest threat right yeah. there. He knows if he can get rid of Ninja, Xave knows he's going to be in great shape. Yeah. they got to be on that payload. Oh, here we go. He knows yeah, he's got to get that Mercy kill. going right for that Mercy. Got Loth popping his all. Stay away there from we go. there. We go. Great play. Yeah. Both healers down. This is really going to open things up for them. He waited immediately for that Zen ult to finish as well. He timed it perfectly. It didn't go too early. Uh -oh. The rest of the team's we got not Diva able to... out of suit. Diva out of suit. Get back in it. All right. The rest of the team wasn't able to make anything happen though with that. So no. Earth team's left again, kind of just. That's a little upsetting. A little upsetting. I think the Earth team is not taking advantage of their very strong Pharah player. Yeah. It's not getting a lot of heals, isn't getting a lot of support, and that I think is to their detriment. Try to make an alt happen. It must have gotten eaten by Kawhi Senpai. Another good play by her and two kills. Holy cow. Wow. She is single handedly Again, keeping the team out. up. Forcing yep. though. You can play what you want. The Mercy alt out. No dice. They got to stay Trying to make something there. happen. Defense Matrix has only got a couple charges left. Put it back up. She's down. Do you have any way for Earth to stay She's back in this? It's not looking good. She's just trying to stay on the payload. I've seen some this amazing overtimes, but I this feel isn't going to be one of them. That is not it. Oh. All right. But you know what? They got the first point, so all Earth needs to do is deny fire the opportunity to get this point, and they're in good shape. All right, and we are going to get on to our next game here. I'm going to try and snap some picks real quick if you want to just All right. chat through these picks. Yeah. Dude, you're not. Who's... All right, so. As the team's pick here, we'll sit in this movie studio and wait. Hopefully the stream's a little better than weeks past. So we've got Fire on the left there, we've got Team Earth on the right. And again, I think Earth, you can see they're, they're trying to make some changes here. Hopefully it makes a, you know, it makes a difference in this last round. Pick up a couple matches here.
We're gonna see if anybody was gonna go with an Orisa pick, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We allowed it just because it's she's available and it's public, so I'm just gonna see if maybe we'd uh, see somebody pull that out. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Loth going with a Hanzo. What do you think they're thinking with that? I don't know. With the Hanzo on the, I'm always, I always feel like a, a Hanzo is usually just nope. get his alt no, up. Just joking, oh, maybe apparently. not. Just kidding. <laughs> Jk. I was gonna say, you know, the Hanzo is not a bad idea on your offense here. You get a couple picks. We'll see. All right, so this is our first Symmetra we've seen so far, and. It's a very strong pick for holding oh this first point. <laughs> Barrier's already down there. And they're immediately running to the top. Ooh. You can push awkwardly from the bottom there. And this kind of creates kind of like that pincer move. You can get... Yeah, you start, you push them out of that gate. You get them from behind if you can get that, especially those high dealing DPS to come in from that angle. Absolutely, and you know what, with this Symmetra, it's really hard because her little balls go straight through that, and mm -hmm. you're in real tough shape. You're not going to be able to really push through that too easily, but Free Straw is jumping down, just immediately taking out their player, but Demetis with the, with the Sim. It's a big moment here. If we can just keep this Sim up a little bit longer, get her alt up, we're looking at a potential. Yeah, very teleporter. powerful hold. Yeah, and teleporter. Which I think, given what this team was playing with, I would totally go teleporter over the shield right now. Absolutely. Well, they're looking yeah. at a one healer team. They're going to have almost like a double res here. There they go. They got it up. Ooh, great ult from Xave. They're easily going to hold this. Which, ooh, no. Not like that, though. Maybe not as easily. We've got the teleporter up, which is great. Oh, my. Kwai Senpai getting oh. taken out. But you know what? They've got the teleporter down. They've got an opportunity to make something happen come here. come right back. Hold it. They're approaching this that is really anybody's work. game at this point, honestly. We've got a lot of action on the point here. They need to hold this if they want to be able to win this. But we're going to have Kawhi Senpai coming in. Could get a big res off here if they need it. A lot of action there. We got some good moves there coming up top. Breaking the shield apart. Got to kill Irritable. Down. There we go. With that teleporter up. Wow. Earth easily is really hold. holding the ground here. And they've still, they've still got the Mercy res, which is going to be big. Oh, yeah. Is there a way to quickly see how many charges are left on the teleporter from spectator yeah. uh go to the symmetra's view no i guess not all right free straws has done been doing a lot of work with his his earth shatter and they're gonna weaken down that shield and see what they can do here fire team's got a ton of alts but again kawaii senpai with that res oh. could turn it all around oh in a wow that's Good roadhog roadhog crime right there <laughs> Nice. Nightmare getting something happening there. And you can see, I think the, the Earth team's feeling pretty good. We're in our final Yeah, Earth here. is real. Yeah, they're holding very well. I think that Symmetra pick made a big difference. Absolutely. I really do. They're not dealing with it. You know, if you look at our team fire, they have no one who can get that teleporter down. Mm -hmm. No flankers, nothing. They don't have a Genji in there searching around. And they've, they've taken a lot of time here. You'll notice these other alts have all started to build up. Free Straw setting up down here. Going to try and do something, but the minute he comes out this door, yep. it's just a face full of Symmetra There turrets. we go. We got ourselves a go. microwave out big there. Pound. Oh, big alt. Big. Oh. Xave, though, is ready. He's ready to say no. They get out of here. Kawhi Senpai quickly bringing the team back up. Wow. Irritable, though, is up here. She's going to be able to res if they need it. Yep. They gotta watch it. They gotta go right after her. She's totally protected. Totally protected. Ready to pop that all. She's hurting though. No! She's down. Oh, when she goes down. And we're in overtime here on the point. We're gonna see what they're able to do. Wow, is Earth's gonna pull out this win right here. Maybe not though. No. We're in no. overtime. Roadhog's on it. What's that Zarya no. charge at? 32? All right. Irritable's got it. Fire, Ooh, Earth's got, fire's got it. Fire's, fire's got this point, it looks like. They pushed him right off. 
All right. All right. Got that point. Now they're moving on. This is really going to come down to see, are they going to be able to hold this payload or not? Got to get off this sim pick, I think. That's going to be yeah. dicey. Yeah. Turrets are a little bit less useful here, but she's at 40%, so maybe get your teleporter up, shield generator. The teleporter might make up for it, or even, like you said, I mean, a shield generator would help too. But is there going to be enough time? I don't know. Who's feeding the little Zarya there? Loth getting the pick on Trinehart there. We got oh, oh getting blown up. This is going to be really hard. They're just marching right into the point. Kawhi Sempa has an opportunity to res her team. She's going to have to use it. Oh. Not enough time. They had a really good hold on that first point. Yeah, that first point hold was definitely the highlight of that. So we've got Fire Team has officially secured their spot in the game. Right now, though, we are going to need to see Earth Team get a win here, or they might not make it into the finals here. Yeah. Nepal is going to be our next point here. And Rexaw. No surprise there. Let's see what play it is. Oh, my. Really good play there. Very good. Nice. Brodon Rogue Crime. So we are going to get ready to fire up our next game. I'm actually going to get one of these to Kawhi Senpai because I think 